Reply me or reply to me. Which is right? Stay tuned to find out. Hello, this is the For Business English Rundown. This is the show for people all over the world who want to improve their professional communication skills in English. So today we're going to talk about reply me or reply to me. Which is correct? Well, let's jump into it. Reply me is not correct. So don't be using that phrase, that turn of the words. Instead, we want to be saying reply to me. Or often we can just say reply. You know, please reply. Or please reply to me. But we can't say please reply me. Uh, or however else we use reply. So we call this the direct object. So who are you replying to? We're using reply as a verb, and reply can also be a noun. I've read your reply, you know, so, so now we're using it as a noun. But when we talk about reply me or reply to me, we're using it as a verb, an action word. And here it is the direct object. Who are you going to reply to, or who am I replying to? I'm replying to you. I can't say I reply you, I reply to you, or I will reply to you, or I replied to you. But we need that direct object, and for this word, we would also need the preposition to. I'm replying to you, or I replied to you, or I'd like you to reply to me. Please reply to me. Are there other prepositions that we could use? Well, yeah, depends on the situation. You know, please reply for me or please reply from me. Maybe I tell my assistant or I tell my secretary or, or coworker, you know, I'm too busy to handle this email. I got an email from so-and-so. I'll forward it to you. Please reply for me or from me. You know, you are taking my place. You're doing this for me. So when I'm teaching business English students, I do see this mistake a lot, reply me. So please keep an eye out for that. Are there other, and I know using prepositions can be tricky. You know, it's tough to tell when you need them, when they're kind of optional, or when you don't need them at all. But this is definitely one that if you're in the business world, you do want to pay attention to. Reply to me. Don't make this simple mistake. Are there any other prepositions or other grammar terms, maybe email terms, that you have difficulties with or you have questions about? If there are, please post about them in the chat. Ask any questions. If there's some interesting ones, I'll definitely do another video on them and include them. Try to explain or give more examples of those. Also, in 2023, we're starting a new course, Business Email Writing. That'll be on the For Business English website. So if you are interested in improving your business email writing skills, please check out that course. Otherwise, stay tuned because on the For Business English Rundown, we're going to talk about email writing and some other writing tips as well. But email writing is definitely one of the topics that we're going to cover. All right, it's time to conquer that like button and make it ours. Please like and subscribe. That's it for today's For Business English Rundown. But if you enjoyed this one, please watch some of the other videos. I promise you'll like those just as much. Work hard today and enjoy tomorrow. Mm -hmm.